This epic new theme park is almost done and ready to open. Epic Universe at Universal Orlando Resort opening in 2025 just keeps ramping up with its construction progress and there is so much detail going on with the entire layout. That's why in today's video we're going to visit some of the construction progress as far as the Dark Universal Land, how to train your drag and other fun lands like that, a part of Epic Universe opening in 2025. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Scott and you're watching Explore and Attractions and like I said, shout out to Bio reconstruct for all these construction photos as usual getting the aerial shots of all the different construction progress for epic universe and there's been lots that has happened since our last update so with that being said let's jump right into today's updates and if you're new here please make sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on but let's of course kick things off with my most anticipated land the universal monsters themed land because lots of detail has started to go into not only the wolfman roller coaster but also the rest of the European-esque village as you can see tons of different gravestones all over the place broken wall theming kind of like that old type of feel obviously you want to bring a universal monsters themed land to life that's the kind of stonework that you're going to see throughout it but look at this photo right here this photo looks incredible looking down at the entire village and I cannot wait to taste all the different food options shop all the different themed gift shops and everything in this area and then of course you have the stone walls fully immersing you in the rest of the land because right behind that village is of course the massive massive facade castle frankenstein for the main e-ticket attraction which we don't know quite yet there's rumors about it but i mean the facade alone looks incredible and more detail has been going into that as well as the extended queue area on the side because yes i do anticipate this ride having lots and lots of people waiting for it so there's a good look at the kind of foresty extended queue kind of similar to uh harry potter and the forbidden journey over at the wizarding world of harry potter that's kind of the vibes that i get from this extended queue of course there's lots more landscaping going into the rumored wolfman coaster but one of the biggest things about this is not all the trees popping up but the fact that the actual trains seem to be testing you can see the trains on the track for the wolfman coaster and they look like so much fun there's talks about this spinning and now with the trains and the seating fixture of two seats on on two different sides you can tell that yes this coaster will be spinning while you're riding it so very exciting stuff nonetheless uh, i'm quite excited to see still what is actually inside that little shack in between the uh, facade for the main attraction and the wolfman coaster see what kind of seeming elements are in there uh, but yeah here you get a great up close look at those trains uh, it looks like i don't know if they're gonna have let's see one two three four five five total cars on this uh, and it looks like you can seat one two three four uh so 20 is there seats on the other side actually now looking at it up close i don't think there's seats on the other side so if that's the case then you'll only be able to seat 10 per train now it is a shorter ride so uh put through will be a lot better or throughput should i say moving on over to another coaster a part of epic universe and that's the how to train your dragon coaster how to train your dragon coaster will go through the entire land and it looks like there's a brand new giant structure being added to the layout of the how to train your dragon coaster now this is in the early phases right here typically we've seen a lot of the construction progress for just the entire theme park in general uh, start to ramp up and start to show signs of early stages but this literally just popped up this massive structure around the the track of how to train your dragon coaster it doesn't look like it's going to be super detailed since it just looks like a lot of steel however it is still pretty early they're not opening until next year so maybe this will be some large scale detailed show scene inside uh with the track running right through it but i'm excited to see that that looks very interesting nonetheless but here's also another thing is the fact that you can see the actual how to train your dragon train located inside the maintenance bay hiding right there and then obviously you get a good shot of where the actual station will be located at as far as the uh, rest of the how to train your dragon experience goes but yeah you can vaguely vaguely see the train hidden right in there that's exciting that means that train is on ground uh, at epic universe for how to train your dragon and i'm sure they'll 
will start testing once they get that structure complete and ready to go. Some netting's been adding to all the overhead elements as far as where it's going to zoom uh, past where guests can walk out. That way, if anything were to fall, nothing were to fall onto guests. The entry portal to the How to Train Your Dragon land is looking incredible, and the statues of Burke Little Pond right there looks like it's getting ready to have water filled any day now, to be honest, with how much preparation has gone into it. And there's tons of little details throughout the land, tons of different characters being added, tons of rock work being added. The actual structure, which will house the uh, Great Hall restaurant, is starting to ramp up construction as well. I anticipate us seeing lots and lots of rock work going on top of the Great Hall restaurant very, very soon. As you can see, the giant tower on top of that building, and then right across from it, of course, more gift shops and stuff like that are starting to pop up as well. Just all over the place in the How to Train Your Dragon land, it looks like stuff is starting to ramp up as they prepare for next year. Moving on over to even more detail because detail, detail, detail. It's just all over the place. And one land in specific that we are familiar with the detail more than others is Super Nintendo World. You see the Yoshi Omnimover cars on the track. We've reported that in the past couple updates, but now a lot of them are uncovered and you can see the vibrant colors of the Yoshi. You have purple, you have green, you have bill, all the different types of Yoshi colors that I can't even speak right. And that's because I can't contain my excitement enough for Epic Universe and Super Nintendo World right here. This will be a much larger scale Super Nintendo World than we see at Universal Studios Hollywood. And rumors have suggested just with the layout of the land, it looks like it's going to be quite possibly bigger than Universal Studios Japan as well. Of course, one thing that Epic Universe will have in the US that Universal Studios Hollywood won't have is the Donkey Kong area filled with a Donkey Kong mine coaster. And the amount of detail going on in the facade to make you feel like you're in the Donkey Kong jungle right now on that blue kind of structure right there is incredible. Look at all the green uh, trees, the, the little bamboo or palm tree, if you will, and tons of hidden details going on that we don't even notice because we're just so distracted by that blue wall, but there's lots of details going on just throughout the entire Donkey Kong area as they get ready to open that very soon as well. I mean, the Donkey Kong jungle area is definitely going to make everybody like fully immersed and they haven't even completely closed it off from the rest of like back of the house area yet so once they start to close it off then it's going to make you feel even more immersed i'm sure there will be uh different trees popped up all over the place it's different trees that you'd see in the donkey kong jungle and then we'll start to be able to see where you're going to enter for the ride and stuff like that but right now yeah super nintendo world definitely has the most visible detail just because of how beautiful and vibrant that land is but we can't leave out the wizarding world because while yes it is so hard to see what's going on with the wizarding world there's lots of work going on there. The entry portal is finally starting to take shape with the giant archway popping up right above. There's even more detail surrounding in the surrounding city buildings. Uh, Bio Reconstruct got some great zoomed in photos of the surrounding city buildings and you can see some different paintings uh, added to these buildings that kind of fit in with the theming of the Wizarding World. And lots of the scaffolding and scrim has been removed as well so we get a better look at that. Now all the detail and the paint and everything is towards the front of the land where the entry portal is at. However, I anticipate that we'll start to see more scaffolding and scrim remove towards the, I guess you could say, the e-ticket attraction, which is rumored to be the Ministry of Magic. Actually, no, I believe that's confirmed from that Epic Universe teaser video that they gave us. And yeah, there's even like uh, uh, some theming that you can see from the entry portal. Obviously, that hand popped up a while ago, but once you walk into the entry portal, you can see that big kind of mural on the right-hand side of the archway. Uh, before, I was talking about like, I definitely think Universal Monsters will have the coolest entry portal. And while yes, all of them are going to have super cool entry portals, I honestly think with the giant archway, Wizarding World may have the coolest entry portal. But that's just what's exciting about all this construction progress is the fact that more things start to pop up and more developments start to happen the more we get excited about it. The main kind of Bellagio style fountains uh, seem to have more work going on as well as seating area around for whatever main kind of show that they're going to have there. The dual racing roller coaster construction is still working on that little feature in the front that we saw in the video uh, where the coasters will zoom past the rock work. They'll zoom into a tunnel uh, right after and there the station still looks like it needs a lot of work as far as theming go but as far as the complete structure I feel like it's uh, almost completely complete if not 100% complete and then yeah we get a good look at the splash pad as Universal did deem this as its own attraction for some odd reason 
the little Celestial Park splash pad that'll be a part there for all the kids. The Celestial Carousel looks great. I'll be interested to see once they start to add more of like the ride elements in there as far as like the, the different animals or different figures that you're gonna jump on top of. And yeah, just all the surrounding buildings and everything for Celestial Park and just Epic Universe in general are coming along quite nicely. But that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's update as far as Epic Universe goes. I wanna know down below in the comments section, what are you most excited for? Let us know down below in the comments section. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button with those bell notifications on and leave this video a like if you did enjoy it. My name is Scott, you've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key, catch you guys on the next one. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.